Oh, oh, are, are we recording? Uh, today we're gonna talk about Freewell's world first versatile magnetic variable and D filter and show you how this system can be a game changer for run and gun shooters. Because this thing right here is magnetic. Huh? If you shoot a lot of videos, a variable ND filter is crucial when shooting in bright conditions and maintaining a wide aperture to create that nice shallow depth of field. If you don't know what a variable ND filter is, it's basically sunglasses for your lens that cuts down light by twisting the filter to reduce the light from entering the sensor. Before I used a basic variable and D filter by Hoya, but as I started using Freewell's variable and D filters, I noticed a lot of benefits. What I like about their magnetic filters most is that it works as an all-in-one system, which is great for running gun shooting. Full disclosure, Freewell has provided me with these variable ND filters, but I wasn't asked or paid to say anything specific. So everything you will hear will be my honest opinion. To give you an idea, I will be showing you what's in the package, talk about the build quality, show you how the magnetic swap system works, price, and my final thoughts to it. Yep, there will be a timestamp below in the video description if you wanna skip or go back to a particular part of the video. So let's start off with the package. It comes with a nice protective case with all the filters in it that fit in perfectly. You get a magnetic two to five stop variable ND slash circular polarizer, a magnetic six to nine stop variable ND filter slash ND32 circular polarizer, two magnetic base plate, one functioning as a standard one stop ND and the other as an ND mist filter. To protect the filter, there is a magnetic lens cap provided as well. When it comes to the build quality, the magnetic filters feel very high quality. They're made from aluminum, which makes it lightweight to carry along. The design of it is very beautiful and gives a professional look to it. The magnets hold the filter securely and makes it easy to switch from one filter to another, saving you a lot of time. What's cool is that even even though the filters are magnetic, the rings are made with hard stops to help indicate the different stops. Once you're done shooting, you can simply remove the VND and attach the magnetic lens cap onto the base plate. Let's now look at the magnetic swap system. There are three different types of filters in this set, a variable ND filter, a circular polarizer, and a mist filter. All these filters can be quickly swapped to fit your shooting needs. Let's first look at the variable ND filter. To mount it, I first screw the base plate onto the lens. Now I can use either the two to five or six to nine variable ND filter. Keep in mind that there are two sides of these filters. On the other side, the filter functions as a circular polarizer. So to use the variable ND filter, I make sure to have the two to five or six to nine inscription face towards me. I then align the A marks together and I'm ready to use it. If I don't plan on using the variable ND filter, I can simply remove and use the base plate. The base plate also has a glass in it, which is a one-stop ND filter. And that as well can be removed if not needed. Let's now look at the CPL filter. To mount it, I first remove the one-stop ND glass from the base plate. As I mentioned before, on the other side of the variable ND filter, you will have the circular polarizer. Attach it to the base plate so that the CPL inscription faces towards you. Now you can twist the filter 360 degree to remove any sort of glare. You can also use the magnetic ND with the CPL glass to create a hybrid filter. Okay, folks, let's now look at the mist filter. To mount it, I simply switch the one stop ND filter with the mist filter. I make sure to align the logo on the filter with the base plate, and then I'm basically ready to go. I can either just use the mist base plate or add one of the variable ND filters on top when filming in bright conditions. The mist filter softens the highlights, creating a glow effect that gives the video a dreamy look to it. It's important to note that, that when considering buying a filter, filter, uh, you don't want to choose a cheap one. Choosing a quality glass filter is important because anything you put in front of the lens will degrade the image quality. Using high quality glass, such as the ones from Freewell, will give you much better results. Here's a comparison between two static videos uh, shot with and without the ND filter. I didn't notice any loss of sharpness in the video. I personally didn't notice much of a difference, only that with the filters, it creates a bit of a warmer tone, which I personally 
personally like. As for my final thoughts, for the price of 399 US dollars, you get a nice set of magnetic filters that work as an all-in-one system. Freewell has put a lot of thought into it, and I haven't seen this system on other filters so far. Surely a unique piece of design, but most importantly, great glass quality with no noticeable color shifts and loss of image quality. I like how they included the magnetic lens cap as well. With the filters from Hoya, I didn't even have a lens cap, so I had to unscrew it every time I didn't need it. I highly recommend this filter to those that need a quick setup with the ability to switch between different filters. As a hybrid shooter, I will certainly always keep this with me as there is everything included in this set. Something else I forgot to mention is that uh, Freewell also has magnetic step up rings for mounting it onto your lens because each lens has a different size and to make it compatible you will have to get the right size and I have the 82 millimeter which fits perfectly with my Sigma 24 to 70 millimeter f 2.8 and I recommend getting the largest filter and then buying step up rings. All right, guys, let me know in the comment section below what you think about these filters. Make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe as it will help me a lot to keep continuing making these videos for you guys. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to find other videos of mine. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will catch you soon.